Hello everybody, I am Tadashi Mori and in this video here I'll teach you how to make the origami wasp by Anibal Fire. Okay, so to make this origami here we are going to use one square sheet of paper. Okay, this one here has 26 for 26 centimeters. So let's start. First of all, fold both diagonals like this. And then you're going to fold the sector of each diagonal. And the sector of the diagonal with the side of the paper. So it's something like this. Just fold, fold here along this line, making the side of the paper go up to the middle line. Okay, so do the same thing on every side. It's going to be like this. To make this origami here, the recommended paper is a tissue foil. Okay, so this paper here is not going to be it's not going to, to have a good result because in the end it's going to be too thick and I can't shape the model but anyway it's good to practice with this kind of paper and then you use a chisel foil Something like this. Now you have to to make a fold along this line here. Well, as you can see here, you have this lines crossing here, right? So you're going to make a fold from this point here to this point here. Okay. Also along this line here only on these two sides so it's something like this when you fold it at the same time the this point here is going to to go up to this two lines two lines here okay Okay, now we are going to make a, a valley fold along this line here, this line here, and this line here. And let me see here. Okay, also a valley fold along this line and this line. So basically you are going to make valley folds on all of those lines. And it's going to get like this. Okay, and then you just need to squash the model carefully, okay. So, like this. Now you're going to fold along this line here. Okay, making this point here go up to this line just like this precisely like this okay and then you're going to fold the sector of this line with this line here so it's something about this point here okay just fold along this line making the side of the paper go up to this line here fold it. 
Okay. <coughs> Do the same thing here to this side. Now, okay, before we continue, we have to do the same thing on this side, so let me just do it again. First of all, fold along this line here to make it easier, okay? Now everything you, you need to fold the same way. So, again, you have to make all those belly folds, squash the model, like this now you have to fold here okay. and now fold the sector like this and do the same thing to this other side here Now you have to do a fold like this. You have to make a valley fold along this line and this line. And a mountain fold along this line and this line here. Okay? At the same time you're going to make a mountain fold along this line. So it's something like this. You have to fold the top part in half like this. And make a valley fold on these two lines and a mountain fold along these two lines and a valley fold along these two lines it's going to be like this okay and now you need to pull here one layer and make a a valley fold along this line here Okay, on this line here. So it's going to be like this and squash the model. Now fold here along this line and do the same thing here. Pull this one layer. And just fold it like this. Okay, now let me see, do the same thing on this side. So, okay, make belly folds, okay, pull this layer and reverse the fold. This, the same thing here to this side. So, fold this layer, first fold. Okay, now you need to open here the model, like this, right? And you're going to make a mountain fold here in the middle. You're going to fold the model in half, like this. Okay, now let me zoom in here, I think, whatever is this one, okay. Okay, now you have to make a valley fold, no, a mountain fold along this line here, okay, coming from this point to this point, like this. And now you're going to make a valley fold along this middle line, and something like this. Okay. <coughs> now fold this layer here up. And now you're going to fold here, like this. You have to 
to make a fold like this making this the side of this this flap here go up to this line okay just like this okay now you have to fold here the sector it's going to be around here the sector of this line with this line so basically you have to fold along this line making these two lines here get aligned okay now you have to make an inside reverse fold along this last line we made okay and now you have to make a fold from this point here from this point here up to this point here okay so like this now you're going to make a inside reverse fold but here in this point you have to make a closed sink something like this you just hold here these two layers together okay and press this mountain here okay so both layers are going to get prepped prepped now okay so it's like this now fold along this line here okay fold down this this front layer okay now you have to make an inside reverse fold along this line here on both both sides Okay, so the same thing here. Now fold this front flap here up again and make another inside reverse, another reverse fold along this line here. this now fold down and you need to do the same thing here to this side so let me just show you in a fast motion
like this. Now you're going to fold here along this line here. Right, and now you're going to fold along this line here, making this side of the paper go up to this line here, so like this. And do the same thing here, unfold everything and do the same thing to the other side and do the same thing in this, this flap here later. So, like this, now on this side again, right here, here. The result of this origami here I'm making is not going to get nice because when I'm teaching I'm not really careful with the details because well, it takes too long to, to make every detail um, we're good so do not expect too much from this origami I'm making here well let's keep Going. And now you need to fold this flap here up like this and fold here along this line, okay? Making this point here go up to this point here, like this. Okay, now you have to fold here along this line, making here have a 90, 90 degrees. So basically it's something like this, you have to fold, making these two lines here get aligned, okay? And then you have to pull here this layer from behind okay you have this layer just pull it's going to get like this okay now fold along with this line here only on this front layer make a valley fold along this line okay and a mountain fold along this line here it's going to be like this, okay? And again, pull here this this layer from behind. It's going to get like this. Now you have to fold here, making this point go up to this point here, like this. Now we are going to make a, a inside reverse fold. Okay, a inside reverse fold, but pay attention here, because well, let's just try to make the inside reverse. And as you can see here, when you try to make this, the layer behind is getting in the way. You have this middle layer here. So basically you have to do something like this. Okay? When you you're making the inside reverse, you have to put this flap here inside this pocket here. Okay. I have a pocket here. Okay? So it's like this. Okay? And just we just make this fold. Okay, now we have to make a fold along this line here. 
making this point here go up to this point here okay but as you can see you can't make this fold because there's this small flap here so what you have to do here is something like this fold here down and then you open the layer a little bit okay <coughs> and make a fold along the sector here on the top part and the sector here on the lower part okay like this the model look like this okay so now you have to fold here up and okay we have the middle line right we have this middle line we have this line fold the sector here of the, this line and this line it's going to be like this okay and unfold now you're going to open here you have this these two layers right this is going to be a little bit hard but something like this you have to open each layer from one side okay at the same time you have to squash the paper along this line here folding along this sector we just made it's like this just pull here a little bit and as you can see the model it look like this, making a, a straight fold here in the middle. Okay. Now you have to make a. Let me see here. Okay, you have to make a fold now along this line. Okay. Fold here up to the middle. Okay, on both sides. So like this and like this as you can see the model will look like this now okay now fold along this line okay. and make a valley fold along this line and this line so it's like this. Okay. Now let me see here. Make a fold along this line. Okay. Making the side of the paper get aligned with this line here, with the middle line. And at the same time, as you can see, I'm going to open here the middle a little bit. Okay. So it's something like this. And now let me see here, you have to fold along this line and make okay we have to make a valley fold now along this line okay at the same time you're going to make a mountain fold along this line so pay attention here you have to make a valley fold and a mountain fold along this line okay and at the same time you're going to align this side of the paper with this side of the paper like this okay the model will look like this now turn the model here to the other side and do the same thing so fold here up and then make a valley fold along this line and a mountain fold along this other line fold and a mountain fold and at the same time align with that line here in the back 
Okay, like this. Now turn the model over and fold here this line up to this point here. Like this, and then fold. Now fold up to this last fold, okay? And then fold. Now we are going to make a fold here. Here, no, we're making, no, we need to make a fold in the middle of this line with this point here. So basically, you have to fold here like this and fold up to this line here. Okay? Oh, I missed the, the line, it's here. Okay? So, basically we're just folding in half several times. So, again, fold here each line in half. So, make this top line here go up to the point again. And keep doing this fold here in half one more time. So here and here. <coughs> okay, like this. <coughs> now we have to make a well, all, all those folds here are going to be mountain folds, like this, okay? And right after a mountain fold, you need to make a valley fold, leaving a gap between two lines about this much here, okay? Keep doing this. All the gaps must be the same size. Okay, now we have to make some details here. And this is going to take some time. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. And it's something like this. You have to pull here this small layer inside. Okay, as you can see, you have this layer. And when you pull here, you have to make a, a valley fold along this line here, okay? Making, as you can see here, this small layer here get aligned with this layer, the, this line here. Let's see if I can show you. Like this, okay? You have to do the same thing here to this side. So and turn the paper to the other side. Gets easier to, to make. So okay, pull here a little bit. And top part need to be aligned. Just like this. Well, I'm going to make it in fast motion now, but it's pretty much the same thing here up to this layer here. So let me zoom out. Okay, so the model will look like, look like this. Okay. Now we have to fold like this, 
we have to make a valley fold along this and this line and a mountain fold along this and this line so it's basically it's the same thing we made in the whole model so it's like this okay make a mountain fold and a valley fold okay the model will look like this now you have to fold here the whole model in half and as you can see already, you can see the shape of the final model it's going to be something like this now, okay. you have to fold here both layers of the wings you have to make a small fold, okay, like this okay. Like this, just to make, just get a, a, a round shape here, okay? And then here in the top part, you have to fold also a small amount like this down. And then you open here the model, okay? And make a side reverse fold, okay? Do the same thing here in the other wing, to the other wing. the same amount so that's it the wings are like this now we have to, let me just see here, we have to make a fold here along, okay, all these layers here you're going to fold like this along the bisector of this, okay, don't fold here, I forgot to make this fold before, so it's like this, fold other layers like this along the sector of this line and the side of the paper like this and then you fold again this small part here just to lock the paper a little bit better <coughs> okay so the same thing here fold fold along the sector and as you can see here, the, the model is getting too thick here and I can't, I can't shape it really well anymore. So if you use a tissue foil, it's going to be better. You're going to have a better result. But, but tissue foil is, is really not good to make videos because it's harder to see. Okay, now we have to fold here in the back you have this layer okay it is one layer you have to fold along a line that comes from this point up to this point here okay so fold here and after you fold here if you can if you see here um, the model is going to get like this okay so now we have to make a reverse fold along this line here so this whole layer here is going to be hidden like this okay do the same thing here to this side so again make a fold along this line and then you just reverse reverse fold here like this okay so now we have to make the legs and it's like this you're going to fold as you can see you have three layers here okay 
three flaps here it's going to be the, the legs and you have to fold each one to the front like this but at the same time you fold you have to fold the sector here to fold the, this layer in half this flap here in half okay so it's like this the same thing here okay and the same thing here now spread here the legs a little bit okay and make a curve downside like this well again the, the paper here is not holding the right shape as you can see when I release my finger here it's going to open so it's not getting a good result because it should be something more like this okay so using a tissue file you can do something like this so again on the other side you have to make the same thing so fold each layer in half make a curve fold here in half make a curve so, and again okay like this the legs are like this the wings also are ready now the head unfold everything here. you have to make a fold along the sector here of this line with this line so you're going to make an inside reverse fold along this line making a, a mountain fold along this line and a valley fold along the next line so it's basically like this okay did not really well here but the idea is this right now you have to fold again the, the paper as it was here so make a fold like this okay I'm just folding back the model. now you have to make a fold here like this so the model will, will look like this okay like this I just, I just folded back the layers we just unfolded some steps ago okay and then you need to fold this point here in half also in this side okay just fold fold in half and make a curve here inside it's like this okay now the wings just open here the wings and the body part you have to open everything a little bit <coughs> okay and the middle the middle here you have to press here about this point and squash here the paper a little bit okay and as you can see the whole model pull here the whole model is going to get a round shape everything is going to get a round shape and that's it now just make the details using a, a better paper okay because I can't, I can't make it's something like this. You just not need to to shape the model like this. Open the wings, 
and that's it. Well, if I release the paper, it's going to get, it's going to open. So the shape's really not good here in this paper. This lay, this back of layers here is too thick. But anyway, that's the idea. I hope you could understand the video. And thanks for watching this video. See you. Bye bye.